So today I will be showing you my entire Louis Vuitton bag collection. Hi my loves, welcome back. So today's video is one of my most highly requested videos and yes, it is my entire Louis Vuitton bag collection. So the last time I did this was four years ago. So I thought it's about time I do this, plus you guys requested it. So of course I wanted to do this for you. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel. I would love for you to join our family. And all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell so you're notified each time I upload. So I'm not gonna go into detail about each of the bags, otherwise I think we will be here all day. But of course, I'll tell you a little bit about each bag and most importantly, I will also be doing mod shots. What do you think of my background? I purposely set all this up for you guys for some eye candy as well. So there's gonna be no particular order I do this, I'm just gonna look behind me and sort of just grab the bag and then tell you a bit about it. Okay, let's start off with some monogram. So this little cutie is the Petite Sac Plat and it is quite tiny. I got this maybe, maybe not quite a, maybe a year ago now. Gosh, time flies. And as you can see, it's all in the monogram canvas. It has got a shoulder strap. And actually recently, so this is the petite size. Recently they came out in the BB size as well, which I really quite like, but I haven't had the chance to go and try it on. But I just love this. There is actually a vintage version, which is a lot bigger for those of you that are interested in this shape and you like this, but you might not like it so tiny. It does come in other sizes as well. So the BB and the PM, and of course the bigger size model as well. And even though it is super tiny, it absolutely does fit a phone. So inside it is all in textile lining. I just think it's so cute. It looks so cute crossbody. So that's why I wanted to get this. Okay, next up, let's move on to stick on the whole mini trend. And this is the ever popular Nano Speedy. I love this bag. It looks teensy tiny, but it sure fits a lot. I actually gave one of these away, I think on my 200K giveaway, and I just love this bag so much. It's still so hard to get, but if you can get your hands on one, definitely get it. So inside's all in textile lining. I actually have my Samorga organizer in there. I picked yellow because it brightens up the interior. And so this one is in 1.2 millimeters. So I'm just put, putting it back inside. And as you can see, see how it brightens up the interior so much. So you guys know I love bag organizers or inserts. Not only does it, you know, help you organize your items, but it definitely protects the inside, which helps the longevity of your bag. So I do recommend, especially with your favorite bags, to get an organizer. I personally use Samorga for my LV and Chanel bags. I think they felt organizers are fantastic. So just to let you know, my code is still active from Samorga. So if you put in the, my code MIM22, that will get you 22% off all their inserts, all their organizers, even their chains and everything as well. And I just wanna thank Samorga for part sponsoring this video as well. I love this bag. The only thing that I wish they did is that I wish with the shoulder strap, they, they made the strap detachable. As you can see here, it's not detachable. That's the only little downside to this Nano Speedy, but otherwise I love this cutie to bits. Okay, so next, since I showed you my Nano Speedy, I might as well show you the Ever Classic Speedy 25. This is the bandolier version. I have to say this bag is very casual and I don't use it that much, but since I've been adding like a chain, again, this is from Samorga, it just completely changes the look of the bag. It makes it not so casual and I actually prefer it with the chain. What do you guys think? So what can I say about the Speedy? It's so classic. I think everyone should own a Speedy in their collection. It's iconic LV. It will never date. The 25 is pretty big already, but of course it comes in the 30, 35 and so on. But yeah, I got this over five years ago and look at the condition, it is still perfect. So next up are not technically bags, but a lot of people use these as bags. 
and I'm talking about the Nice. So the one that I have is the Nice Mini. It is a cosmetic bag. If I open it up, you can see all my makeup neatly inside it. And yes, by the way, this is a Samorga insert, perfect for makeup organization. It just looks so nice just sitting on my dresser or even sitting in my display. And of course, you know, when you travel because the inside is synthetic, it's wipeable as well. But a lot of people do use this as a bag and you can put some D rings and attach a chain if you like, but I like to use it as a cosmetic bag. This has been so popular. It comes in a bigger size, the BB and also the super cute nano size as well. So this one, I do have the insert as well. If I wanna put some lippies or some makeup, I don't have anything in there at the moment. This one, I just pick a self color insert. It's really, really cute. It's actually tiny. And for these ones, I recommend just going the 1.2 millimeters. For the inserts, you can, you can do 1.2 or two, but you don't want it to take up too much space. So that's why I picked the 1.2. But how gorgeous is this? So I have two sizes of the Nice collection. On the theme of cosmetic bags or toiletry bags, I've got to show you, of course, my toiletry family, starting with the Toiletry 26. Again, this is a cosmetic bag, but so many people use this as a clutch or a bag. And I actually do use this as a bag much more now because I've got this gorgeous chunky chain, which is also from Samorga. And the reason why it attaches on, because look at the insert inside. It's actually got two little loops so you can attach any chain you want, really. You can make it into a crossbody if you wanted. And this one here, you can go two millimeters if you want. But I just picked a nice brown and it just looks so cute if you wanna wear it as a shoulder bag or even if you hold it as a clutch and you've got this chunky chain detail, it looks so good. And then if we move on, this is my latest one, the 19. Now, you know, Mel loves pearls, so. This one here, I wanted to jazz it up. So I have actually worn this, you know, as a crossbody bag with the pearls. Of course you don't have to, but you know, I just like to dress up my bag. So I've got the 26, this is the 19. Don't you think the pearls just dress it up a lot? Just a different sort of vibe. And then you've got the little toiletry 15, which is so cute to use as a catch-all in your bags as well. So this one here, I actually don't have an insert. I think for the other two, because I wanna wear them as shoulder bags, I wanted the insert with the loops, but this one here, I. I don't see myself wearing this as a bag, but still love this cutie nonetheless. Next up is an oldie but a goodie and still so popular. It is my pochette Matisse. So I've owned this bag for over five years, maybe six years, five, at least five years now, and it's still in great condition. I haven't had the issue with the glazing. I really enjoy wearing this bag. I actually prefer wearing it with a chain instead of the normal canvas strap. But yeah, it's just a really great classic style. It comes in canvas, it comes in on prompt leather, it comes in so many different variations now and I can understand why it still remains one of the most popular bags. The accordion style makes it so easy to use. So if you look at the inside, yeah, it's just great. So roomy, fits a lot. I also like bringing this when you know, I could travel, I used it quite a lot, but yeah, just a great bag. Next up is one of my favorites. I was so sad when they discontinued it. I've owned her for about four years, I think, and I'm talking about the Neo Vivienne in leather. Isn't she so, so cute? I love the LV logo. I love this top handle, which flattens out. And yeah, inside it's just, has a couple of compartments and a zipper pocket. I just really, really like this bag and it's such a shame, I think, that they discontinued it. So all in a pebbled sort of grained calfskin leather. It also does come with a shoulder strap. I like to wear it both ways. I just think this is such a great bag. So if you can find this in the pre-love market, you should definitely pick it up. Continuing on black bags, let me show you this beautiful cutie. So this is the Speedy BB in ink and this bag is actually in lambskin. 
I remember when I first revealed this bag, I think I said I buy the most low-key Louis Vuitton bag. I do think this is pretty low-key. I mean, you can see the monogram. It's very, very lightly embossed. So from a distance, you can't kind of see it, but I love that you just can see a little bit you know, depending on the light. It is so soft and supple. I love this. And another reason why I loved this bag so much as well is look at this chain. It is just gorgeous. So it comes with this chain here as well this braided chain, and it just dresses up this bag so much. So inside is actually got micro suede lining. I just picked an insert in blue to brighten it up a bit. But yeah, love this cutie, and I actually love the fact that this is in lambskin as well. Next up is a super, super special bag, very limited. I could not believe it when I got my hands on this a couple of years ago, so I did buy this pre-loved. And I'm talking about my LV City Trunk. Now this bag came out, I think in fall winter 2016 and hardly any came to Australia. And I just could not believe it that, you know, I managed to get it a couple of years ago. So of course it is based on Louis Vuitton's iconic trunk, but as the trunk is so rigid, this was purposely made as sort of like a tribute to it and a modern take on it. That's why it is also supple, so it is usable, hence why it's called the city trunk. And I understand that not everyone will love it because the body of this is supposed to look a little bit wrinkled like that, but the top part and all this is like, as you can hear, it's completely rigid. And to open the bag up, I've just got it stuffed at the moment. It's just all in beautiful, you know, sheepskin lining. I just think this bag is a masterpiece and it takes the artisans a lot of time to make this bag. I just think it's very special. It also comes with a leather shoulder strap as well. But yeah, it's just divine in my opinion. Next up is the Louis Vuitton heart bag or the Louis Vuitton curve bag. On the inside, how cool is this? Uh, Samorga even make a heart shaped, hold on, let me take it out. They even make a heart shaped insert for the bag so it's perfect and of course I wanted to pick red because love love heart it's got this little red love heart as well I really like it and this looks so cute crossbody it's got the boy chapeau sort of uh, strap as well and this strap is in a treated vaqueta leather so that's why it's not you know so white it's already this beautiful honey color so I had to add this cutie my first love heart bag Next up is another leather bag, super popular, and I'm talking about the Capucines. So the one I have, I bought from the Paris store, and this one's a bit different because it does have the python handle. It's in the beautiful Galet color, which is this gorgeous neutral, and yeah, it, it looks just as good as when I bought it in 2016. I absolutely love this bag. I really like the little mini version that came out a year or so ago. Might want to add that one next. It's so, so cute. But this BB size is a great everyday size. I just think it is gorgeous. So inside, it is also all, in, it has a leather lining, but I like to protect the inside. As I said to you before, it comes with a leather strap. This leather is uh, Terillion leather, really hardy. You can see the big pebbling through it. Yeah, just a big fan of the couple of scenes. And I think that's why it's remained as one of the most popular styles that LV sells. So the next couple of bags is actually the same style and they're actually vintage bags. Now, you guys know me, I love buying new, I love buying pre-loved and I love buying vintage. So the bag I'm talking about is this fabulous bucket bag. It is called the Khan bag. Now I bought this, no, this was, this one I bought maybe only not quite a year ago. And this was at least maybe three years ago. And I purchased it before the current Khan bag came out. So this one, the vintage version is a bit bigger than the current version. But if you love a bucket style, you can absolutely go vintage because you can pick these up for such a good price. So instead of it being, you know, 3000 or something dollars, I picked them up for way under a thousand, maybe even under 500. I can't remember now, but yeah, this is just such 
a good bag. I'm going to link some if I do find them. And inside it's got a red interior for the red and this yellow one. Uh, this one has a purple interior. How cool is that? So this yellow one isn't as in good condition as my red, but honestly, Epi leather again is a really, really hardy leather. And look at this. I've just put an LV bandeau on and then I've just attached, this is just from Samorga. I've just attached a couple of O-rings onto the Twilly and then look, voila, you can make it into a shoulder bag. This one I probably wouldn't crossbody because it is a bit bulky, but I think it is just such a cool vintage bag. And if you guys love the look of the Khan, definitely search for this pre-loved because you can definitely pick these up for under a thousand dollars. And next up, I'm really excited to let you know that I've got another game changer product for you. So you guys know in my Chanel video, which was a couple of months ago, I showed you that I partnered up with Samorga and we came up with this little card holder insert. And I've got it in my Chanel card holder, but it works on pretty much any card holder that has a flap that's around this size. So it works on my Dior, my Bottega, my Loewe. But basically, you know how a lot of the houses are doing mini card holders and just putting a chain on them. Instead of paying a couple of grand or three grand for them, you just buy this little insert, which is $12, put it in there. And because it's got these two little rings, which we've purposely designed to go on the side, you can attach a chain and then this becomes like a mini crossbody bag. And because you love that so much, you're like, Mel, can you please partner up with Samorga again and do the same thing for a wallet? So I'm really happy to let you know. Now I'm showing you the example of my longer wallet. This is my very, very old Chanel flap wallet. This works on the LV Emily wallet or it works on the LV Sarah wallet. And basically it is just the same idea where it's this thick piece of felt and it's got these little rings at the end. So if you attach a chain and this chain here is also from Samorga, but if you've got a chain at home, that would absolutely work too. You just slide it into the back and then if you close it up, you have got yourself literally a wallet on chain. And yeah, you might as well use something you already own. And this insert is only $13 USD plus shipping and you get a bag from it. So whether you want to do it with a card holder, oh, this little one also works with, this little insert also works with like if you own the LV Rosalie or the Victorine, that would work as well but it's just a total game changer. And also don't forget, you can use my code MIM22 and that will get you 22% off all the chains or any of their organizers or inserts as well. So I'm really happy you guys love the idea so much. So now there is an insert for the card holder or a longer continental wallet. So the next three bags I want to show you is from my Alma family. So let's start off with the smallest, which is my Alma BB in Damia Iben. This is such a great bag. I think this is, well, the Alma style is iconic. And especially in the Damia Iben, you just don't need to worry about, you know, the Viqueta. So this is often my rainy day bag. I love it so much. I even got my M monogrammed on the clochette. I think this is a cutie that will never go out of style. Again, even though it is in the BB size, it fits a ton and I love this bag so much. So if any of you are thinking to purchase maybe your first LV bag or your second, I really recommend the Alma. So the next Alma I wanna show you is actually a vintage one. So I picked this up pre-loved from Farfetch maybe nine months ago and I was so happy to find it in pristine pre-love condition. So this is from Steven Sprouse's collection from 2001. So yeah, it's 20 years old. Oh my goodness. 
and look at it it is just beautiful i love this graffiti it's in a peach graffiti i think originally also came in black and white as well Do you know the shape it is quite an elegant shape and then the minute you put graffiti i don't know it just makes it that little bit more edgier but still so so cool so i absolutely love it this size is actually a little bit weird it's not exactly like the pm size it's slightly narrower but it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So inside, again, it is all in uh, suede lining. It's got feet as well, even with all the LV. Look, this one even has a blue sticker on it still from when I purchased it. So this owner did not use this bag much at all. So this collection was so popular when it first launched and I just remember loving it and admiring it back then. So I'm so glad I actually found one in such great condition. And the final Alma in my collection is super special. So this is the PM size. But anyway, just to show you a quick size comparison, this is the 2001 version. See what I mean when I said it's slightly, slightly smaller than the PM version. So the reason why this one here is so special is because this was given to me by my late mother-in-law and that's why this will forever be a bag in my collection. It is a beautiful, vibrant sort of pop of purple. Can't remember the actual name of it. This one is in epi leather, so very durable again. It's just in beautiful condition. I love it. I actually love this color. And yeah, if you want to dress it up, you can just put a bit of a chain detail on it just to jazz it up a bit. But isn't this color just stunning? So I think with the Alma, you just cannot go wrong with this shape. It's, you know, one of LV's first bags, and it's also a shape that will never go out of style. Another very special bag, which is a bag I don't use, but again, on the topic of my late mother-in-law who was just a fashionista and loved color. This is another bag that she gave me. And this bag was a limited edition. It's actually all in suede. She bought this probably over 15 years ago in Paris. It is called the Onata Fleur Bag. So as you can see, all the little flowers on there, it even has very slight LV perforations across the whole bag canvas strap, hobo shape. So not a bag that I kind of use, but I really appreciate the detail. And you know, I love that it's from her. So this bag is in great shape and I'm still so happy to have it in my collection. Next up is a bag that hubby completely surprised me with. I cannot believe that he even got this at the price he did. I was so shocked when he surprised me with this fabulous bag here. So guys, this is the twist bag in the size PM. And it's twist because as you can see with the lock, you know, you have to twist to open it up. So this one here, of course, I wanted to protect the inside. It's all in leather, but I did choose a tonal organizer. And this one here, I particularly love because it's in the natural ombre lizard. So it was my first exotic bag. I just think it is just stunning. I love lizard as an exotic and it's a great bag to wear on the shoulder or cross body. It's even got the lizard here. So that makes it very comfortable. What can I say? I absolutely love this cutie. Okay, how are we all going? Yes, I have quite a big <laughs> LV collection, but LV is one of my favorite brands. Let's talk about a couple of vintage bags. So the first one I wanna show you is this beauty. And this is the LV Duville bag in multicolor. And this is the black multicolor. Now, I think people either love or hate this kind of multicolor. Personally, I love it. I love the white, I love the black. I don't own that many pieces, but I love this classic sort of bowling bag shape. And I've even got a little coin purse attached here, which I really like. And yeah, so inside it's all in Alcantara lining. If you love multicolor and you love this collection, it was so, so popular when it launched, definitely check out the vintage market because yeah, you can pick these up for a pretty good price. So that's the first vintage beauty I wanted to show you. 
Next is another bag I bought pre-loved. It's not quite vintage yet, but it is stunning. Let me just take its little baby off for now. So this, guys, is the Papillon, and this is in the size 30. And you can see it's a cylindrical shape, which makes it very unique. But this one here is the limited edition one that Richard Prince collaborated with LV on in 2008. So that makes it 13 years old. So this one I also got from Farfetch Preloved, actually, the Farfetch Preloved site. And yes, my code is still active for those of you that are after it. The 10% off even works on all LV and Hermes and Chanel Preloved. I'll leave it uh, in the description box below if you wanted to use it. But yeah, it was in excellent condition. I absolutely love this bag. I don't have anything in this kind of shape. Again, I wanted to pick something bright and cheery for the inside and helps organize everything. And I've actually got a little baby version. I think in the past when they did this, because this comes in different sizes, like the 30 and the 19 as well. And this is just the little tiny baby version. This I got from DCT Vintage and I just thought it was so, so cute. So it's sort of like mummy and baby. Now the next bag is my very first LV bag in my entire collection. I remember saving up for months literally to get this. I got it, I think in 1999 or eight, it was like 22, 23 years ago. And I'm talking about my beloved pochette accessoire. So it doesn't come with this chain. I actually was using this the other day just to go grocery shopping. I don't actually use this cutie that much. Uh, the updated version doesn't look like this, but this canvas, the vintage version is so much better. Isn't it fun with just a chain handle strap? Sometimes I just, you know, I like just to play around with my bags. I think it's fun giving it a new look. If you can get your hands on the pochette accessoire, definitely get it. I think it is a great bag. The Originally, it just comes with a very small little shoulder strap. As you can see, mine is kind of broken, which I still haven't got fixed. But for, you know, my very first bag, which I bought, there's no regrets. I absolutely still love this bag. It will never, ever leave my collection. So on the topic of the pochette accessoire, let's show you another pochette. So... I have a confession. So this, you're probably thinking, what bag is that? I've kind of <laughs> done my own sort of thing with this. But yes, this is the multi pochette, which was the hottest bag two years ago. Still continues to be very, very popular. But I never wore mine. As you know, in the video that my, I think my ugly luxury tag, my husband hates this bag. Anyway, I was just playing around with it. And again, the, this is just from Samorga, just one of their chains, which I love. They're very, very good quality, by the way. And they also sell like these top handles. So I just wanted to experiment. And I thought that looked really cool, kind of as a top handle or even just as, you know, a shoulder bag. It just completely changes the look. When I showed hubby what I did with this, he's like, I actually like it now. So I'm like, did you just not like this canvas strap and he said I didn't like the canvas strap and I didn't like this because it just looked too bitsy but when you did it like this I actually don't mind it so I think I'll be using this bag this way it looks completely different as I said you can just dress up your bag however which way you want just have fun doing it I guess that's why the multi pochette was so popular because it's like you get three SLGs in one, this bigger pochette, this smaller one, and then a little coin purse. So I can understand why it was so popular. But what do you think of this, what I did with this to jazz it up? Do you think it looks silly or do you actually agree with Javi and think changes the look up of the bag and you would actually wear it now? Let me know in the comments below. Next is my only Neo Noe bag. Now again, this bucket style bag is very popular. I bought this at the start of the year. It was by the Pool Collection. Very, very popular collection. And I remember I was debating between this or the cream. I'm so glad I went with this beautiful blue because I don't have anything kind of in this colorway. And yeah, I just really like the BB size because it comes with this top handle. It also comes with this thin strap as well. Inside, it's got all the suede lining. I just picked a matching organizer. 
I just think this is a great bucket style bag. Bucket style bags are here to stay. I mean, they might not always be in, but who cares, you wear what you want, right? Yeah, so drawstring closure, fits a lot, all your daily essentials. I just love the color and I love this really big giant monogram. I just think it is beautiful. And you can see that gradient of blue going from lighter to darker. On the topic of colored bags, another couple of pieces that I picked up this year and I absolutely love, is one of my favorite collections from LV, is none other than the watercolor collection. Now, this is the Pochette Voyage, which is from the men's collection. They should have made more of this in women's bags, in my opinion, but I got this. It looks great as a clutch, but I knew I wanted to wear it with the strap again. The only reason I can wear it with the strap is because I got an organizer that has the loops, as you can see. I just went with blue on blue because I loved the blue and it just completely transforms it. I mean, how cool does that look? Even if you're wearing it as a clutch with this chunky silver chain or you're wearing it as a shoulder bag, the watercolor, I'm just in love with this. And yes, guys, I am still going to be giving, you guys know I managed to get another card holder in this. So because I have my Hermes giveaway happening at the moment, that's just gonna be delayed a little bit. So on the topic of my Hermes giveaway, don't forget to enter. I'm giving away an Hermes bag and another uh, YSL card holder. So a lot of you guys are telling me that your comments were being deleted. I have no idea what's happening with YouTube, but just comment again, that is absolutely fine if you're not sure. Just, I'll link the video above. But yes, I will still be giving away the card holder in the watercolor in the near future. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten. So that's the first piece of watercolor that I picked up earlier this year. And the other piece, which is a bag, but you know, it's more of an overnight bag. I had to get this gorgeous keep all bandolier in the size 50. Like this is literally a piece of art. I have not used it to be honest. I mean, we're still in lockdown, but I was never really a fan of the keep all, but if I was going to get a keep all, this was it. So this is going to be my only one. I just love it. It makes me so happy just looking at it. Isn't it just absolutely stunning. So I'm really glad I got to add this special limited edition watercolor. Okay, so one of my biggest bags from LV is actually this guy here. And this is the on the go tote in the GM size. Now, when I got this a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, they didn't have the PM size or even the smaller size. Is that the BB? I can't remember, but it comes in like three different sizes now. So this is the biggest size. I took it traveling with me. And the reason why I really like it is because it also comes with a shoulder strap like that. So I found it very convenient for travel. And inside, again, I love the bright red interior. I love it when they do a pop of color on the inside. It just brightens everything up. And this particular one I love because it's got the reverse monogram. It's got, as you can see, actually all different. It's got the giant, it's got the mini, it's got the brown. So I just really liked that combination. So I haven't used this bag as much recently because you know we haven't been able to travel, but I still am glad I own this gorgeous bigger size tote. Now this is Miss S's favorite, the colors she just loved and I don't blame her. Again, this is from the By The Pool collection. This is not exactly a bag, but I've included this because a lot of you guys may not be aware, but there is actually an organizer and that's the reason why I got this again from Samorga where you can attach a chain and it just threads through the inside of the organizer like that. I just picked pink because of course it looks so nice with pink. And then you get yourself a gorgeous shoulder bag. And so the Kirigami, it's really worth it because you can use it as an SLG or you can use it as a mini bag, especially with an insert. It just changes the functionality of it. And then it comes in this size as well. So you get it in a set of three. And this one here, I've just put a silver chain and picked a white insert. And again, you've got a little mini bag. So, so cute. And then it even comes in a baby one, which you can store a card holder. So yes, I did even get a little 
uh, insert in that though this one you wouldn't put a chain but love the colors so had to show you that and how you can also transform that into a crossbody bag and lucky last the final bag I want to show you is my trunk clutch so again it pays homage to LV's iconic trunks as you know the LV was a trunk maker but this is soft so it's like a soft sided trunk and to open it up you just press this it's got a zipper it also does come with a shoulder strap inside it is all in gorgeous sheepskin lining I really enjoy this bag love it and I actually got this because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the petite mile petite mile is still on my wish list by the way but I do like that the shoulder strap is removable is it adjustable does it have adjustable yes it's a removable and adjustable so it's got the chains and then just a plain black strap which you know I actually use this on some of my other bags so it's very handy again I really liked this because it looks like a trunk but it's soft and supple fits a ton and I love the reverse monogram on this as well I just think the way that they've executed it it looks really chic so this bag oh, I think I got like three years ago so it's still selling on the LV website no regrets but yeah, I would like to add it since the, the petite mile. But for now, still really enjoy this fabulous bag. So that is it for this video, guys. I thought it might have been a bit shorter, but looking at the time now, it's probably a bit long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like these collection videos, give this video a thumbs up. Again, I will list everything I featured in the comments below, along with any pre-loved versions I find. I'll also list the chains I put on there, just in case you might want to get it. And my discount code is MIM22, and that gets you 22% off all Samorgas, organizers or chains. And also my new collaboration with Samorga, which is the longer insert for all your longer wallets. So I'm really glad you just love these sort of ideas. Let me know what was your favorite bag from my collection. Do let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day or night, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.